Hey gamers, Minus10 here. And today's how-to video will focus on how to update your BIOS. Now, I use Asus ROG motherboards, but the same steps will apply to other manufacturer motherboards like Acer, ASRock, Gigabyte, MSI, and others. Now, the menus will be different, but in general, the steps are very similar. So, so why update your motherboard? Well, there are a variety of reasons but like your PC apps, your motherboard's BIOS is regularly updated by the manufacturer. Now, as a gamer, I check Asus's website at least monthly to see if there are any updates. If you're not as diligent as me, it's a good practice that you should do this at least annually. Now, for this update, you will need a USB drive with about 100 megabytes of space or so free. Now, before we begin, one note of caution. Updating your BIOS is done at your own risk. But if something does go wrong with the update, all motherboards have a BIOS restore button on the back panel or on the motherboard itself. Now, if this happens, please consult your motherboard manual on how to restore your BIOS. So with that said, let's jump in. First, you need to see if there is a BIOS update for your motherboard. From your web browser, a good place to start is to type in the manufacturer's name followed by motherboard support. Click on the link that looks best. Then select your motherboard series and then the product model. Next, select driver and utility. Then select BIOS and firmware. Now check the date and BIOS version. And then download the latest update. Open your downloads folder. Double click on the downloaded BIOS file. Now, this next part is very much for Asus ROG motherboards. Double click on the BIOS renamer and unzip the file. From the extracted file, double click on the BIOS renamer file again. A pop up window will appear and hit any key to rename the file. This will rename the file. Now, I'm not sure why Asus does this, but that's their process. Next, copy the renamed file to your USB drive. Eject your USB drive and insert it into the USB port on the back panel labeled BIOS. From there, Restart your computer and enter your BIOS by tapping the delete key. For me, I just keep tapping the delete key so I don't miss the enter BIOS after the splash screen appears. Once in BIOS, if you are on the easy mode screen, type F7 to enter advanced mode. Next, use the mouse or right arrow to select tool from the top row menu bar. From there, select Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility. Now, the file that you copied to your USB drive should show under the folder. I always check the date and time to make sure it's the correct file. Click on the file and then click yes. Now, you're gonna get a number of prompts to double, triple check, but when you get the next prompt that says, do you want to read this file? Click yes. You'll get another prompt that says, do you really want to update BIOS? Click yes. This will trigger the BIOS file to be opened and the BIOS file to be installed on your computer. Now, your computer may restart as the file installs, so just let your computer run its course. Now, it will take some time depending on the BIOS update, but once it's installed, your BIOS will state, update successfully, system will be reset. You can click OK, but your computer will often just restart right away. Now, after the restart, for Asus ROG motherboards, you'll often see a screen that says, please enter setup to recover BIOS settings. So click F1. 
Now, if you've saved a profile, you can load it from your BIOS. If you haven't, then you can reset your BIOS settings to your own desire. For me, I just check my Expo, Precision Boost Overdrive, and a couple other settings. You know, tune your BIOS as you need it. Once done, click on Exit, select Save Changes and Reset, and click OK. This will trigger a reboot back into your desktop. Now, once on your desktop, you can go under the search box, search for the app called System Information, and load the app. Once opened, you can check your BIOS version and it will be listed about a third of the way down. And that's it. Your BIOS should be updated. If you enjoyed this how-to video, I'd really appreciate a like on the video as well as a sub if you would like to follow me as a content creator. All comments below are welcome too. Thanks for watching. Thank you.